I wanted to make a quick video of how to convert a piecewise function to a heavy side function. And remember, a heavy side function is just that like on and off uh, switch function. So it's defined at the top, and I'm kind of assuming that you guys already understand that. And I want to show you like a shortcut or a trick that makes it so easy, and it applies to every function you're ever going to deal with. And you just do this one trick, and it's always going to work. Okay? So what I'm going to do. I have my piecewise function defined as that thing above and I, I'm going to start by taking the first the first function that's defined as and I'm, I'm making sure that these domains are in order right I start at my lowest x values and then my second most lowest and then like the height like it's all makes sense it's like chronological basically so I'm going to start with the, the earliest one I've got x squared plus 5 solid I'm gonna keep that in plus what I'm gonna do is take the oops I am going to take the second function here e to the x and I'm going to subtract this first function okay minus x squared plus 5 and then on top of that we're going to take the this like boundary condition here the like, at what point does it switch to between these functions and it switches at x is equal to negative 1 so then I'm just gonna write x minus and then this is where I plug in my negative 1 okay and that's it okay that's all you're gonna do and then we're going to follow the exact same procedure for the next one. So plus. So I'm going to take I'm going to take the second one, the my next function I'm turning into, which is tan of x, and then I'm subtracting the one that it just was, e to the x. So plus tan of x minus e to the x. Okay? And then when does it change? So I'm going to do heavy side of x minus. It changes from the e to the x to tan of x when x is 3. So I'm putting in a 3. And you're done. That is literally it. That's all you have to do. So now let's just write this out. x squared plus 5 plus this will be e to the x minus x squared minus 5 times the heavy side of x plus 1 plus tan of x minus e to the x times h of x minus 3. And let's just double check if you don't believe me. Let's double check. So when x is less than negative 1, okay? When x is less than negative 1, then that means that this function is going to be equal to 0 because I've got h of a negative number, right? that's zero and then negative something lo lower than negative one like negative ten minus three that's also going to be negative so I have another negative so this is zero as well so that means I'm left with x squared plus five which is what I wanted right so so I know that worked let's do the same thing now for the other two so in I'm gonna pick a, a value of x that's in my second region okay and that would be uh, 0. Let's take a 0. So h of 0, okay, right here. h of 0, that's going to be positive. So this is positive, which means that this is going to be 1. So this term is going to this term is going to stay. But if I've got 0 minus 3, this term is going to be 0. So I've got now I've got x squared plus 5 plus e to the x minus x squared minus 5 and you can see I'm left with e to the x solid that's what I wanted okay so finally same logic with the last one so when x is greater than uh, greater than 3 let's pick like 10 so uh, h of 10 plus 1 that's gonna be positive and then 10 minus 3 it's also gonna be positive so all of my terms are still gonna exist so I've got x squared plus 5 plus e to the x minus x squared minus 5 
plus tan of x minus e to the x. And you guys can already see my x squareds and my fives cancel, my e to the x cancels, and I'm left with what I want. So seriously guys, just do this, this same method with any piecewise function that you get, and I'm telling you, it's gonna work. It saves you a whole lot of time.